Hi guys. Wow. Let me just say the last couple of days have been what the heck. Um, yesterday was so good compared to the last couple of days of mine and today has been good too. Um, they got me out of surgery and didn't give me my armadapinil, which is my um, wake up medicine. So I have idiopathic hypersomnia. I've had it since I was a teenager. Um, basically, it's like in the narcolepsy family. Um, keeps me from waking up. Um, also makes me sleep forever. So I was groggy. I didn't want to do anything. I just laid in bed. I was in a lot of pain. Um, it was awful. I mean, honestly, I wanted to die it was bad um so um i didn't eat anything for like four days um they planned on doing the other surgery on friday so i had the first surgery on wednesday um and then they were going to do the second surgery on um friday um but then they postponed it because they kept overloading me with um Miralax and like Colace and so my stomach was a freaking disaster um, For one I wasn't getting up so I was trying to go on the bedpan and it was awful But once I got up once they gave me my medicine, I kept pushing for it um, Then I was good. I was going to the bathroom um, I moved all day yesterday. I couldn't even get comfortable laying down um, I barely got any sleep just because it's more comfortable to sit or stand up than it is to lay down. But, um, and then I have this horrible crick in my neck back here. So I've got my heating pad from home and they've got me on some lidocaine patches. So I don't know what that is. I think it's from sleeping on it weird. Um, or it's from, uh... Yeah, sleeping on it weird. It's from maybe my brace partially. Um, so I've tried to loosen my brace a little bit. Um, this guy is my friend this time, but I'm already like getting bruising on my hand and my shoulder, my wrist. Um, I have to do the bathroom thing, which is honestly um, TMI, it's very messy especially when I'm having, when I was having all the bowel movements, um, to try and get rid of all the, the stuff they pumped into me, um, to try and make sure my bowels were going to move because I have this, um, this, um, motility issue. I think they, they were giving me my motility medicine, but they were also giving me all this other stuff thinking that, you know, I needed all this other extra stuff. But, um, I really didn't need that much. And they gave it the day of surgery, which and then I got down there and they're like, she's no, she's in no shape. I was in no shape to go to surgery. Um, you know, if they had me go today or tomorrow, it'd be much more better. Um, but they're talking Wednesday, which I feel like that is better. Like I'll get kind of more, um, uh, custom to everything and this is going to be through the back of this time so it'll be a different incision and I'm sure I'll be in a lot of pain they said this will be the morphine drip so I'll be able to choose my, how much I get morphine wise so but I can already tell like my my um my um abdominal um cut is healing better because it's starting to itch and it just feels like it's starting to heal too so yeah it has been I think it, if I had gotten my medicine like I told them from the beginning they said it they were worried that it might mess with my my anesthesia or something but if I'd gotten it in the beginning I think I would have done a whole lot better so basically I had three days of literal hell. Um, so I had the 
the three discs replaced and um, going through that front side. Um, and so then they'll do all the rest of the stuff um, next week. So yeah, so good update today. I couldn't have said that last week or, you know, or a couple days ago. Oh my God. I mean, it was just awful, <laughs> awful. And it, um, they're not, they didn't give me my birth control either. So then I'm having that issue because now all of a sudden I started. So they weren't sure why. And then I told them it was probably because of that, because I'm not taking that. So, and they're slow to make me get back on that so whatever oh well we'll just have to go with it so lots of tmi today but um just trying to eat light in my diet you know like white products um you know like um pancakes or biscuits or toast or um if it's fruit it's in a canned form or yogurt because yogurt seems to be a good thing but I'm having some really bad hiccuping and when I swallow it just hurts like going down so they give me Prevacid at night which is like 40 milligrams but in the morning I feel like I need it and they're not giving me it then so I'm drinking a lot of ginger ale but anyway that's an update so I'll keep you updated but um, definitely could say a whole lot better than I was three days ago Yay! And oh, here, just so you can see. I'll let you see my face. And how much I'm moving around. So I had surgery on Wednesday. Brace. You're actually supposed to tighten it a little bit more, but because of the shoulder issue I'm having, I'm trying not to do, do it too tight. But, um, so yeah. And I tried sleeping without it yesterday after being in it all day, and it was so uncomfortable because I felt like I was just like dropping my insides everywhere. So, and another thing, because um, my hair was getting so tangly, I finally pigtailed today or yesterday sorry and that really helps a lot so i suggest if you're having upcoming surgery that involves your back or abdominal whatever um do pigtails because then you won't have that massive um that massive uh, crazy here the stuff here are amazing so shout out to Sky Ridge because they are so amazing. So anyway, there that's me.